know let's come back and do two more questions in your phosphorus salads we've already seen how have we, how have we prepared uh, for the, your pcl3 and pcl5 from thionyl chloride <coughs> and sulfuryl chloride let's see this now what did he give us what does uh, why, okay what does no why does this should be why does why does pcl3 fume in moisture that means whenever you are taking okay answer let us write they said pcl3 what happens why does it fume why do you get fumes when uh, you uh, like moisture or water is added to this pcl3 when i add water okay let us see now let us assume i'm going to take three moles of water here now let's see h so it is basically hoh hoh and hoh like this that now it said it's going to show us uh, like uh, uh, fumes would uh, fumes you observe when moist when uh, this gets or uh, this combines with water now observe carefully now this whole thing h3 along with this and this phosphorus comes out as h3po3 phosphorus acid now what else is left one two three hydrogens and chlorine three hcl would come out now this is your white fumes these are the white fumes which appear now because of the formation or release of uh, the formation of hcl phosphorus uh, fumes in moisture you, you have to write that the reason is <coughs> when phosphorus comes in contact with water right that is your three moles let me take out this this is only for your understanding don't write that in the exam three moles of water it's going to hcl vapors are going to evolve what because of this formation pcl3 fumes in moisture simple question there's nothing no logic in this just write but only thing you have to remember is pick up three moles and hcl vapors out done what happens when pcl5 is heated some nothing isn't it it is only dissociation now pcl5 when you're heating it it will break up into pcl3 plus chlorine gas evolves out so simplest reaction hope you get this question one mark is not the, uh, for us one mark every mark is important so dissociation of pcl5 into pcl3 and pcl uh, pcl3 and chloride so important thing you have to remember in this when they say moisture pick up the moisture but remember you have to take three moles when you take three moles okay if you don't take three moles also even if you see hcl is out isn't it hcl the phosphorus that is h3 meaning why did i say three moles when you take three moles this formation of h3po3 that will be perfect in writing so these are your answers.